encouraged no doubt in the aftermath of Wednesday night's marvellous World Cup win for Scotland and there are four World Cup men in view this afternoon David Cooper wears number 11 for Rangers hoping to consolidate the splendid form he showed on Wednesday night a skill early on from Cooper a tremendous welcome he got there goes Redford on the left tackle from Stark giving the throw in to Rangers and the Aberdeen defensive trio members of the World Cup team Leighton Miller and McLeish as Aberdeen get the ball scramble clear here's Robert Pritz another World Cup man he played for Sweden Wednesday night in Portugal the header came from Mitchell and turned behind by Miller no the ball was over before Willie Miller played it and Aberdeen have the goal kick so notwithstanding these World Cup men the Aberdeen squad perhaps the most influential figure in attack may be Peter Weir playing only his second full match after his long spell out through injury Redford didn't control it the way he wanted initially but he's found space on the left and Cammy Fraser Ferguson that's good defending by McKimmy escorted Ferguson wide then won the ball calmly but the flashback goes wrong and Rangers have the corner good play initially by McKimmy Rangers dug out with Jock Wallace on the right Dave McPherson number four goes to the goal line Craig Patterson is also up Cooper score touched on by McPherson Cammy Fraser shot the deflection and Rangers go in front Kimmy's head as Black gets support from Willie Miller coming from the back there's McKimmy now Weir good play from Aberdeen McKimmy still has Weir available shots decisive header out came from Dave McPherson now wide for Simpson chance for Stark a brilliant header from Billy Stark and Aberdeen are back on level terms 19 minutes into the first half Neil Cooper set it up wide for Simpson on the right now look at this cross brilliantly delivered and there was Billy Stark with a diving header which left McCloy without a hope well the Aberdeen fans have a chance to celebrate Billy Stark gets his 8th goal of the season that's prolific for a midfield player blows his whistle to end an excellent first half dominated in the early stages by Rangers who went ahead in the seventh minute a corner kick on the right Davy Cooper flighted it over McPherson's head flick was headed out as far as Cammy Fraser a bit of luck about the deflection which beat Jim Layton Rangers well worth that early lead but as the first half wore on Aberdeen asserted themselves and they got back into the match when Neil Simpson delivered a superb cross to have Billy Stark bullet home with a header equaliser and Aberdeen drew Aberdeen get the second half underway after a 45 minute first half enjoyed thoroughly by the huge crowd inside Ibrox and Peter McCloy almost got napping the shot from McDougall coming right at the start of the second half Dougal coming off his marker finding space turning for the shot it was certainly a good one and McCloy happy to see it over the top forward towards Ferguson Angus doing well for Aberdeen Peter Weir coming inside and Miller helps it out to Cooper on the right Neil Simpson racing forward and that was well spotted by Dave McPherson but Simpson wins it bad tackle by Redford and down to the end of Neil Simpson and Aberdeen had the free kick swing across by Cooper and the first 
first time shot from Billy Stark. He really is lethal around that penalty box. Played in by Neil Cooper. Uh, just see how quickly Billy Stark gets on the end of that one. Keeps the shot down well. It's just about a couple of feet wide. Redford appeared to do a spot of wrestling there with Simpson. Good turn by McDougall. Made space for himself. McKimmy coming to the back. Number three is Ian Angus. Looking for McKimmy. Here's Willie Miller. Start plays it through. There's Frank McDougall. And Aberdeen go in front. McDougall's 10th goal of the season. The Premier League's leading marksman gives the leaders the lead. And that goal is one which Aberdeen can scarcely be grudged. Yeah. McDougall bustling away up front still for Aberdeen. He has blocked to score goals and he certainly delivered the goods. Goes Peter Weir on the left. Is Eric Black point blank save from McCloy? Eric Black can't believe it. He's on his knees in disbelief. Oh, Peter Weir slipping the defence, turning the ball across. There's Black, powerful header, and McCloy with a marvellous save. 